Hi, how the hell are you now? <laughs> Still drunk. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm counting on you. <laughs> it's a little bonkers in here tonight. I'm kind of enjoying it. People have been telling me stories about their weekend. I am not going to tell you a story about my weekend because my weekend was offensive and scary. All right, all right. I, I got to do... I got to... I got to actually take a night off from being in charge of the world, and I got to dress as a clown ninja. Which is to say, I finally took off all the costumes and was just myself. And all I could think was, gosh, my father would be so proud. <laughs> finally living up to the dream of standing quietly, being a ninja. It's amazing if you're actually standing in a place that's the size of an arena and all these people are staring at you, if you're trying to sneak, the more you sneak, the funnier it gets. I don't know if that's ever going to be useful to you, but I just thought I would just say, hey, give this a shot. But I did that Saturday, Sunday, obviously, Father's Day. That was a thing for a lot of people. A lot of people got a lot of opinions about. I only have one useful piece of advice from my father, which derailed my entire life. Sit on it was not the piece of advice. They can hear you. It's the damnedest thing. So... <laughs> One day we'll have a backstage. Until then, party on. So my father said to me, he said, I don't care if you're the president of these United States or if you're a freaking janitor. And he said, well, he said something other than freaking, but you know, we're on video. I'll tell you later. So, yeah. So he said, I don't care which one of these are, you are, so long as no matter what happens, you, you do 100%. You give it your all. You're the best you could possibly be. And then, be better than that. It's pretty good advice. It's pretty awesome advice. Except what he did was he set me up. He said, you know, you can go any direction you want. You can go all the way to the heavens or straight here. Uh, I can do anything I wanted to. And so what I did was I stood still and celebrated failure. And I think that's how I ended up a clown. I, I don't know if, I don't know, I, it sounds like a bad thing, but really the funniest stuff, if I came up here and I was graceful and charming and had my act together, it would not be good. I'm not saying this is, but that would not be a celebration of me being me. I'm a screw up and I'm rather proud of it. <laughs> and I am surrounded by like-minded friends. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some moments go like this, and then there was that one. Um, the, the long story short is this. I, I don't know what advice got you here. I know that my life has been a series of... And I finally learned to celebrate that. And I don't know if somewhere my father is spinning in his crypt, waiting to come back and enact his revenge, as the prophecies foretold. 50-50, I give it. But I do know this. I know that I am having a ton of fun trying my best to at least keep it interesting. And I thank you so much for coming with me on those adventures. Welcome to the open stage. Yeah.